The UK government have recently published their new construction strategy for 2016 to 2020, building on the progress made in the 2011 to 2015 version. In the UK, a quarter of the total construction output comes from the public sector, and central government is the industry's single biggest client. That means that the way they behave, the way they are to build assets, and the kind of buildings and infrastructure that they ask for has a huge influence over how the construction industry acts and the path of progress that it's on. The strategy breaks down to four principal objectives. The first is to improve central government's capability as a construction client. That means their ability to act in the right way to get the most from the construction industry. Now, there will obviously be slight differences in approach depending on the project, but the government have recognised that the principles of client leadership, early supply chain involvement, continuous improvement and collaborative culture are all common across the piece. The strategy talks about using the government soft landings approach across departments. You can find out more about that on the B1M channel. It also mentions changing procurement routes and using things like a cost-led approach, integrated project insurance or two-stage open book. The second objective is to further embed and increase the use of digital technologies, recognising the productivity, efficiency and collaborative benefits these can bring. Now, there's no surprise that BIM features pretty prominently here. The strategy builds on the work that's taken place up to the 2016 Level 2 mandate and supports a gradual shift towards Level 3. It recognises that BIM supports the beginning of a wider digitisation of construction. The strategy also talks about enhancing the government's data capability and the advantages of making informed decisions based on accurate information that can now be more easily obtained with digital tools. That includes things like cost benchmarking and measures to reduce carbon. The construction strategy wants to see £1.7 billion of efficiency savings delivered by 2020. That's about US$2.4 billion US dollars at the time of filming. The third objective is skills and the supply chain, and the government recognised this is a key area where efficiencies and value for money can be realised. Here, the government talk about continuing to regularly publish their pipeline of work to boost confidence. They talk about creating 20,000 apprenticeships, ensuring fair payment throughout the supply chain, and promoting the use of project bank accounts, a central account for a project from which all suppliers are paid directly and simultaneously by the client. The final objective is to enable and drive reductions in whole life cost and carbon. It highlights the need to accurately measure carbon at both the delivery and operational stages and to promote innovative approaches to sustainable design. You can find out more about the UK government's construction strategy and download a free copy from this link. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to share it with a friend and if you'd like more like this, why not subscribe to the B1M.